what's looking at a place now is this long gray road. We're gonna have to do something about this. I wanna turn this into glass and I don't know what, what kind of glass yet. So I'm liking the way that this is looking. What we have to do now is some technical stuff. First, however, I need to empty my inventory of all kinds of extra junk that I don't need at the moment. So we'll just put all this stuff away. I need these, I might keep this handy. Don't need any more of those. And I think that should be a lot lighter. Might need these, might need some of those. And these. So I've raised the platform or I've raised the need. Uh, this is the output here uh, going down to uh, the, uh, the dropper. And I believe that I have to raise this up by one. So we need to have a hopper here and then a hopper here. And then everything else will just point into that one like this we have this mess here to clean up too because this is not all done correctly there's a couple of these things we've got to get rid of so there's a few few little bits here that need to get sorted out uh, but really I don't see the point in bringing these any higher uh, if anything I might bring the glass down around the back which would make sense, uh, I think. So actually, let's do that. Let's grab some glass from here. I need more than 11, I think, and I need more, more slabs. There and there, and then we can do that, that, and that. I guess down here, one thing we could do would be uh, sea lanterns because they would light things up from below as well. Let's actually just cut through right the middle here so we have an easy way up and down. Yeah, so there's a torch there right now, but we could easily put six sea lanterns underneath the hoppers. I think hoppers still let light through. Let's find out. I guess it won't be six, it'll be probably just two, like that. Yeah, regardless of whether they let, let light through, I think that'll be, that'll be good. Lights things up. I think maybe I wanna do a full six anyway, and just we'll have to spare one because of the the hopper we'll have to put one over here like that so that i think looks pretty good all of this will have to be filled in with something yeah that's quite bright isn't it cool uh i also think i thought the enderman had to be standing on slabs for one reason or another. Oh, you know what it is? It's because the XP will get caught on on the uh, on the hoppers if we don't do this. So I guess that is that solution. And then this comes down around the side. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Keeps with our black and magenta theme. I think we're ready to kind of tear out the rest of the stuff down there. I do, however, want to make sure that we can't see the sea lanterns from the side. So I think what I want to do, where is the edge of the sea lanterns? Yeah, I think I want to continue this black concrete down along the bottom here. 
like this. Just get rid of this here. Might as well get rid of these while we're here. Like that, and then this comes right across like that. This is terribly freaky, by the way. If that makes sense. Like that, and then wall, like that, like that. Yeah, okay. I think that makes sense. Does that make sense to everybody else? Now these, I guess we could probably wrap, I don't wanna wrap the glass around because then that just gives another surface for the Enderman to actually uh, land on. If I get rid of all this, that leaves that wide open, but there's really not much we can do there. I wish that these um, glass panes, I don't know whether it's my texture pack or what, but I wish they wouldn't have like the the squariness to them. Like you can see the checkerboard. I wish they would just be smooth, like glass. Glass, you, you it's seamless. You can't see the you can't see the the divisions. I think I might want to swap out this for for nether brick. Ha! I got it right that time uh, because I feel like a black line going down the middle here would be a nice divider along the whole thing. And that could be kind of cool. And we could also do something neat with stairs, maybe? We could probably have some fun with that and have it be like a like a one and a half wide kind of thing. That could be kind of cool. Do I have any stairs? Not much. Or we could use purple stairs to do the gap. So this could be purple stairs. And it could be like that. And then this could just be a straight up solid thing. Now that the grooves are in on both sides, I don't think I actually like that very much. I like the color change, but I don't think I like, don't think I like the other, the divot as it were. We might be, we can still maybe do something with that in the middle, but I think we're going to tear this out here. Go back to this. And then I guess, I guess we just use slabs. I like that. I kind of want to maybe put it farther out, but I don't think that's going to work with the way that we have. It'll work on this side. But I don't think it'll work on the other side. Mm. Do we do we like do we like the five wide? Oh, I kind of like the five wide. I just don't think it's going to look good on the left. We might end up making that room on the left a little bit bigger. Because I don't think this will look good. Yeah, it doesn't look great. What do we think? Do we like the five wide or do we like the three wide? Hmm. I think we maybe have to go with the three. Just because it's better balanced, maybe? I think what's throwing me is that there's it's five across the top. Which is not bad. It has like a nice V sort of to it. It's not the end of the world. I think the other thing that's throwing me is that we we have um, 
we don't have another black pillar out the back here. We've got this one, but we don't have this one in because I keep on using that for access. Same thing here. This is asymmetrical, so it looks a little bit funny when you're in here, but it looks good from outside. Just a nice little highlight there, kind of shows you where you're going. I like the lighting. Having this being nice and bright is good too. That has to be there, but I don't know. I don't think I had these connected. Maybe I did. Because I feel like if we don't do that, we are going to regret it. Eventually, I want to turn this on. I want to try to get this, this to the point where it's something we can turn on today and give a test. Because we can always turn it back off. Oh, right. So they come out here and they end up connecting, which is weird. Ooh, hey, that's cool. Do we like that? I guess that gives another spot. I don't think Enderman can spawn on top of that. Where does that go? Yeah, they might be able to. Not spawn, but teleport to the top of. So let's get rid of that, now that I think about it. At this point, we have to go check the top again, because we have two spots here that they could teleport to. And I think what I'd like to do is just tag one more there and then let's do that there and then i think we need one more and then two more carpets like that that seems to make sense i sort of want to just put triple carpet here just for the look which i think makes sense as well I wonder if we could probably, rather than do panes here, we could probably do like proper glass blocks and then an iron door. And I guess here we could do just solid blocks. I'm not sure what that would look like. I'd say good enough for now. Let's just say good enough for now. And I, can't, I don't really need it to be a door because nothing can get in here. We don't need a door. It's just going to be a pain in the butt to have to like use a pressure plate and stuff to get out here. So we can just leave that as is. Uh, this is all pretty tight. I'm happy with the way that this looks. I'm pretty sure that this will work the way that it's supposed to. I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, I think I put all the hoppers in the right direction. Looks like it did. Everything has got the right amount of carpet on it. This is gonna bug me, by the way, just FYI. There is one stone slab there, and it's because the endermite is on top of it, and I didn't swap it out because I didn't wanna to have to deal with moving the endermite around. But that's the only stone thing left in this whole thing. And I don't know if I've talked about it much on stream, but this used to just be a square 11 by 11 pad. And now it's an 11 by four with uh, a five wide rim of glass around it. And that's from uh, Nembon uh, and his his tutorial on, on how to incre increase your spawning rates for pack spawns and stuff. So I think that this is ready. So the only thing left to do to turn it on is there are torches. right up there that need to be destroyed. And that should light things up and get this thing rolling again. So I'm gonna fly out there and see what we can do. And one of the things I wanna try and do in the future is actually put two uh, redstone lamps here and here, and then hook up some sort of redstone signal from this room, probably out the side here and have it hook up and uh, turn these things on and off so that we can, if we want to, turn the farm on and off. I don't know if we'd ever really want to do that, but we, if we desire to, we can. All right, so we fly over here, way far away, and unload everything. 
And now as we approach the farm, we should have an absolute metric ton of Endermen flowing into the killing chamber. I hope. <laughs> the Endermite's still there. Normally we see Endermen at this point. Oh, there we go. There's the dudes. They fill up super fast, and I have my volume way, way low, for anybody wondering. So the question is, if I sneak right up against this, do they hit back? They do not appear to hit back. XP does not get caught, that's good. But I don't think I can hit the dudes at the back. Oh, maybe I can. I think I'm clearing the whole thing. No, there's still an awful lot of dudes. I can't reach these guys at the back. Yeah, I can't. I'm not hitting those guys at the back at all. And if I get too close, then I can't do it. It's so funny because you can reach back there with a pickaxe. The good news is they can't punch me, though. I'm far enough away that they can't hit me. So that's good. I kind of wonder... What if I get rid of these? So if I'm just a little bit closer... They absolutely can't see me. I think I can hit the guys in the back now. Although it's hard to say, there's just so many of them. I'm not seeing anybody teleport and hanging out in any places that they're not supposed to be. The ender pearls look like they're being spat out, which is good. I mean, part of the issue is that it's just such an efficient farm. Like, look at this. Look at that. That's bananas. I guess one of the ways to test it is to try and get it to fill up and then see if we can actually tackle it that is that's really cool looking <laughs> look that's kind of spectacular actually oh hi how did you get there so eventually they start taking entity cramming and they start to to die but i'm not i'm not seeing any of the teleportations land anywhere and even if they did they can't um they can't get in here so even if they do get mad at me, all it does is just affect the mob cap, but the mob cap is so crazy on this farm. I can't hit the guys at the back. Not unless I crouch. And if I crouch, then they can hit me. So that's interesting. I, uh, I did not need these trapdoors because they, uh, I can't hit the back even without them. And with the glass, I'm still far enough away from these dudes that they don't, um, they don't do any damage. So really, I guess the thing is to, uh, to try and, I guess, narrow this so that it's not a two by uh, three, but a one by three. So that they all come down this one spot which could be doable. I could maybe just um, extend that trapdoor and then fill in the glass, just kind of narrow the glass up. It's possible, definitely possible. Thanks to everyone in the chat. I really had a good time hanging out with you guys. It's a short stream today, just kind of a little bit of extra time that I had. Uh, I have got to go eat dinner. You're detecting a theme, I, I feel, uh, but it's time for me to go. I will point everyone towards the spawn chunks. That is at thespawnchunks.com. 
Uh, that is a podcast that I do about Minecraft. You can follow me with just my name on every social media platform you can think of. It is just Joel Duggan. I am very easy to find. And hey, while you're out there, check out joelduggan.com. It's where I have a lot of my illustration and design work. And if you'd like to hire me, then you can do that there. And last but not least, these kinds of videos, these streams are supported by the folks here on Twitch who are lovely, but also the folks on Patreon who are also lovely. Uh, and if you'd like to join the Discord, then either Twitch or Patreon, depending on where you'd like to support the stream, uh, will get you in there. So check it out. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And of course, it's twitch.tv slash Joel Duggan. Until then, I will see you next time.